Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mohamed Salama and I'm going to introduce to you new hello uh, for second year preparatory uh, unit 1 lessons 4 and 5. Like a bird on a tree. Let me start with lesson 4 unit 1. This lesson starts with a reading. You have to work with your partner to look at the, these pictures and discuss this, these questions. You have to think first about what you think the story is going to be about and discuss with your partner about do you think that it has a happy or a sad ending. The story is called The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt. This is a short video of the story and you have um, to watch it first before we continue. Can I open this one first? Yes, you can. Go on. I think I know what it is. Oh, it's really heavy. It must be a rock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hello. After finishing this scene, you can watch the whole film on YouTube by entering this uh, address. The next part, you have, we have to read the story and after reading, we put these pictures in the correct order. Let me read it together. The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt In the 1900s, Roberta, her younger brother Peter, and their little, their little sister, Phyllis, live with their parents in London. They have a big, attractive home with a large garden. One terrible day, two men take their father away from home. The children do not know where he is going or why. The children move from the city with their mother to a small house near a railway line. The family are poor and life is very different for them. The children have lots of adventures near the railway line. A kind old man who travels on the train every day becomes their friend. The old man helps the family in many ways. He helps their father too, because the father is in prison for something he did not do. Finally, the father comes home the family is so happy to be together again at last. Okay, after reading, we have to order the pictures. The first picture obviously is picture B. The second picture is picture 2. The third picture is picture A. After reading the story, we have to read it again and match to make sentences. Number one is done for you. Number one says, at the beginning, the children live in, they live in the city. Number two, the first home is big with a garden. Number three, they move to a small, simple house. Number four, near their new home, there is, there is what? There is a railway line. Number five, one of their new friends is a kind old man. The last one, number six, the children are very happy when they see their father again. Okay, let me discuss some new vocabulary that we uh, uh, read. The first word is attractive. Attractive is an adjective means pleasing or appealing to the senses. The example says they live in an attractive house like uh, here in the picture. 
the second word is large large is an adjective it means of great size or capacity example says large dinosaurs once lived on earth the third word is terrible terrible is an adjective it means extremely bad or serious the example says this coffee is terrible I can't drink it the next word is railway line railway line is a noun means the road consisting of railroad track and road bed. Example says, when we were young, we lived near a rail, the railway line. The next word is poor. Poor is an adjective. It means without enough money to live comfortably or normally. The example says, this family is poor. I'll help them. The last word is present. Present is a noun. Present is a building in which people are held as a punishment for a crime. The example says, the man is in the present for the crime he did. The next exercise here, he wants you to use one of these words to fill in the spaces in front of each definition. Number one is done for you. A place where people go when they do something wrong. This, th this place is present. Number two, the road that a train travels on. This road is railway line. Number three, people without enough money are, these people are what? Are poor. The word be beautiful. The word beautiful means attractive. Number five, very big. Very big means large. Number six, very bad. Very bad it means terrible. How did the children feel when they moved to the small house? After you say uh, wh how, you should give me reasons. Why? Number two, how do you feel when uh, things change? When you change your life, how do you feel? Is it easy or difficult at first? The change, is it difficult or easy? at first okay, you can decide yourself listen five unit one listen five starts with also a pair work you have to uh, look at these two pictures with your partner and uh, answer this question together the first question says which bedroom belongs to one of the children in the railway children story after you decide, you say why. Actually, if you have a strong observation, you will notice that there is a computer there uh, in the picture uh, on the right. So the answer would be uh, basically uh, the picture on the left. Number two, what do you think about each room? Your opinion about each room. Uh, number three, number three, which room do you like best personally? something personal you can decide it yourself after you say tell me why okay there are some vocabulary here about furniture within these two rooms uh, we have to label each uh, piece of furniture with its name the first piece of furniture is labeled for you on the left bookshelf um, the, the second one is yes better number three chest of drawers number four basin number five yes armchair let me turn to the right one number six lamp number seven curtains number eight wear drop Number uh, 9, sofa. Number 10, carpet. Next is a listening track of two people, a boy and a girl. Each one describes his own bedroom. After listening, you have to decide which room belongs to the boy and which room belongs to the girl. Okay, let we 
listen carefully. Speaker 1 My bedroom is beautiful. I have a lamp on my bookshelf. It helps me to read in bed. There are bed curtains on the window. The curtain matches the carpet. The best thing I like about my room is that it is big and comfortable. Speaker 2 I like my bedroom very much. I have nice curtains. I sometimes sleep with the curtains open. I like to read on my armchair. I have a basin in my bedroom where I wash my face before I go to bed. Okay, uh, have you decided after listening? If you cannot, you can play it again. Uh, the, the room on the right is for the boy, yes, and uh, the room on the left is for the girl. We have to listen again and answer the questions. Speaker 1 My bedroom is beautiful. I have a lamp on my bookshelf. It helps me to read in bed. There are bed curtains on the window. The curtain matches the carpet. The best thing I like about my room is that it is big and comfortable. Speaker 2 I like my bedroom very much. I have nice curtains. I sometimes sleep with the curtains open. I like to read on my armchair. I have a basin in my bedroom where I wash my face before I go to bed. We have to uh, answer the questions. Number one is done for you. Uh, it says, how does the boy read in the bed? Uh, the answer is, he has a lamp on his bookshelf. Number two, what do the curtains match? The answer, they match the carpet. Number three, what does the boy like best about his room? The answer, that it's big and comfortable. Number four, why does the girl sometimes sleep with the curtains open? The answer, because she likes to read. Number five, where does she like to read? Where? The answer, she likes to read on her armchair. Number six, where does she wash her face before she goes to bed? The answer, in the basin. Here we have a, a pair work again. You have to describe your bedroom to your partner and your partner should uh, uh, describe his bedroom to you and compare your pictures together. Remember that we use prepositions of place to say where things are, like behind or in front of, next to, uh, opposite, on or in or under, like here in the picture, under, next to, behind and in front of. Finally, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.